hello welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to walk you through how to use the jclose um, application in the hot potato suite of applications the jclose application basically is used for creating close activities or fill in the blank activities these are mostly useful if you want to find out from the learners what they already know about the topic um, you could give them like a paragraph from um, um, uh, your topic which contains uh, essentials or concepts that you would expect them to know and then ask them to identify missing words from um, the, the, those paragraphs or uh, set of texts and then um, um, after they attempt this activity then you can tell uh, what are the missing uh, concepts um, uh, from that and then you can tailor your lesson uh, either to cover uh, those missing concepts or not okay so i'm going to open up um hot potatoes so just type hot and then um, just um, run it and then let's select uh, close now there are two ways that you can create the activities uh, one is by typing out the activities uh, themselves just type out the title and go ahead and type out the text or paragraphs or sentences where you want the learners to identify the missing words and then the second method uh, which is um, the one i highly recommend is to have a prepared file okay like this one so i already prepared the file just for the sake of um, demonstrating this one um, this is an activity that I, did, I would want the learners to identify the missing words um, based on this list okay so what I've done is I've prepared already the sentences that I want to use, but I've not yet decided which of the words I'm going to remove. So, um, but the words that I want to remove are actually on this list. Now, this is one way that you can have the close activity um, prepared. You know, again, you can eliminate these words and just have um, the uh, fill in the blank activity without a clue or a list of words that the learners are supposed to choose from. So it's up to you the way you want to structure your activities okay so what i'm gonna do is just to get the um the sentences themselves and i'm gonna leave out um the words just to make the activity um simple just uh copy this and then let's paste it in uh, our jclose activity so i'm gonna paste it in there like that and i, w I would want to remove uh, the numbering because already my activity had the numbering so i'm just going to remove the numbering so that the sentences they're actually as they are supposed to be uh, on their own and then i'm going to give this activity a title so i'm just going to say this is networks and security and um, from here now i need to identify where the gaps should be in my activity so in this case I want, for example, biometrics to be uh, a gap. So I'm just going to select this. Now, be careful when you select this that you don't include the spaces. So it should just be like that. And then I'm going to click on gap. So you will see the options down here. You have gap, you have clear gaps, you have auto gap, uh, delete gap, and show words. Okay. So gap is used for creating the gap um, here. Um, so if I have biometrics uh, selected like that and I click on gap, it should um, highlight this one. Bring up this um sub window now on this window you can set a clue for the words um leading to uh, you know the actual word that you are looking for here so you can give them a clue and then you can also set alternatives okay so if you do have um uh, alternative answers um maybe uh let's say if the answer was six maybe you could have six like this and the use uh, the learners can also give the number six like that so you could have alternative answers um leading to um the same uh, answer that you know you were expecting uh, from the learners okay so i'm just gonna remove this i don't need alternative for these activities um and i'm just gonna say okay and notice that biometrics has been added you can clear the gaps okay just say yes and it will eliminate the gaps so auto gap is basically where you have the application decide which words uh, to eliminate so you can give um, let's say for every uh, fifth word in the list, it should eliminate those words. Um, let's say, let's try to use it. Um, let's say every fifth word, okay? So just do that and it will leave the first four words and then every fifth word will be underlined. But this is so random and it may not apply to, you know, subjects which are typical like computer science. Because, I mean, how on earth are the students going to guess that the word here you're looking for is they? 
so probably for languages like english um or subjects like english spanish where grammar would be ideal um, or would be essential french and stuff like that you would want to have something like this and the learners would be required to identify not only the syntax but also the grammar uh, of of that language okay so i'm going to clear this um, you can also delete word gaps um, one at a time. You can show the words that are missing in the gaps and so on and so forth. So I'm going to add the gaps one at a time. So I'm going to select biometrics and then add the gap like that and say, OK. And then I'm going to select magnetic. Uh, maybe I want them to guess about stripes. OK, so I'm going to do that. And then physical token. Maybe I want them to know about tokens. OK, just do that. And you can go on and on and create as many, you know, um, words as, as, as necessary. Okay. And then once you are done, um, you come here, which says go to configuration screen to set preferences for the web page layout. So come here. Now here, this is where you're going to add the instructions that you, you want. So the first part is you have the title, uh, subtitle, which is um, uh, gap fill or fill in the gap exercise. And then you have got some set of instructions that you want the learners to, to have. The default one is actually fine because it tells them um, how they're supposed to use the um, the activity, okay? The web page, once it loads, um, they can have hint button, they can check their answers, they can um, submit, but if they use the hint button, for example, then they can uh, lose some points um, for using the hint button. So. Um, you have all this. I love to leave the default as it is, unless you just want to add extra instruction, um, maybe to, to tailor it to subject specific and so on. Um, you can have your prompt and feedback to set, you know, what happens if the learner gets um, a, questions correct, a question correct. Um, you can set the um, um, maybe correct work, well done. Um, you can also set what happens when the learner you know, gives an incorrect answer or after they submit the entire work and, you know, they get some questions incorrect, what should um, should happen. And then you can also uh, set the score, um, uh, what message you, you want them to get, uh, like your score is 100% or your score is 80% uh, and so on. Um, you can set some buttons. Um, this, I don't usually use it, but I mean, you, you are free to explore that. You can set the appearance of your um, uh, web page. You can set the background, the text color, the foreground. You can set the buttons and so on. Um, the one which is mostly useful is this one, the timer. Um, you can set the timer for the activities. So if this is a five minute activity, I can set and say this is gonna be a five minute activity. So at the end of the five minutes, the learners will be told that their time is over. And pretty much the other stuff, I, I don't so much use them. Um, you can you you can explore them but i don't think they are um, that necessary just to get you started um, here so let's say okay and then now once you set up all this you can go to file and you know create a web page and select standard you can also select um function uh, six or f6 on your keyboard um to uh, automatically load um this uh, page so let's save this one let's call this as network and um network and security uh, activity so just say save and then let's view it in the browser and yep so this is the activity in the browser the moment it loads in the browser it starts with a timer okay and you have the title of the activity um, you've got the instructions and then you've got the gaps Okay, where uh, learners are supposed to put some words. So let's say biometrics and then uh, biometrics, it's supposed to be biometrics. And then let's get some questions incorrect. This one should have been stripes, but let's get some words incorrect. Let's just come some random words just to make sure we get something um, incorrect. And then you can say check. And then it says your score is 50%. Some of your answers are incorrect. Incorrect answers have been left at, in place for you to change. So the ones that have been corrected are uh, put in bold, so which means the learner knows that these, they managed to get them correct. But the ones that have been left um, to edit, it means these are incorrect and the learner can have an attempt at um, these uh, words again, okay? So the beauty about this is that, you know, you can have instant feedback. So you can collect these activities and, you know, give them to your learners and um, 
you know they can they can they can work at their own pace um, um, sometimes you may not even want to set the um, the timer and case you want to give um, differentiated activities and enough time to certain students you can set uh, the timer for certain activities higher um, compared to other activities okay all right so this is how you use the j close in um, hot potato suit